Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning and let's continue with our example on gradient descent. So what we saw last time was the new value of my m and b and the way to calculate was m new and this is given by the old value of m in our case it was 0 0.45 and then I have to subtract something because I saw that uh, my gradient is negative so right so this is given by minus a step a learning rate that how much I want to reduce this original value times the derivative of the standard error with respect to the m right and this could have been rewritten as 0 0.45 minus the learning rate times the two times this minus actually came from here only uh, so 2 times of x times my original y which was the original sale price minus the predicted sale price okay this was the learning rate uh, that we were using okay so here in this case the learning rate we took is something around 0 0.01 okay We'll discuss more about learning rate but for the timing we took a small value of 0 0.01 in computation we could have taken 0, 0, 001 and so on so depending on different problems we'll pick this learning rate but this learning rate is nothing but the size the step that you want to take so if i was at the top of a hill here so this is a hill and i want to come down to the bottom right so how much step are you going to take right this is the learning rate if you take a bigger step you'll take long jumps and if you take smaller step it will be taking long time to come back to the bottom that's the main idea okay so this was the new m and what was the new b new b was also very straightforward b new was exactly same formula the new is 0.75 which was the old value of b the intercept minus the learning rate times the derivative of sum of squared error with respect to b and this was nothing but 0 0.75 minus 0 0.01 times 2 times of y original the original sales price minus the predicted sales price so yp was calculated using this formula mx plus b x being the individual square feet area this was nothing but 0 0.45 times x plus b and which we saw in our previous excel spreadsheet but again we are doing, going to do the same calculation but this time we are going to use the new value of m and b and let's see that in an excel spreadsheet